Hello everyone again, this is my next video in the series of my Mayan Day Signs. I'm on number 17 of 20 and today's video is about the Mayan Day Sign Earth or Kaba, which is Mayan Day Sign number 17. And then there's 1893 more to go after this and then I'll be getting on to more of the galactic tones and going a bit deeper into a Mayan calendar reading. But for this video, what I'm going to start with doing is telling you a little bit, but not too much, not too deep, a um, little bit about the Mayan culture just to get you started. But you can very much research a little bit more about it if you're interested. And then I'm going to talk about the, the elements of a reading, but my focus is going to be on the day sign. Um, when I say the day sign, not just the core day sign, the abilities and personality of the day sign, but also the other elements or the other energies which are involved in the day sign. For example, the energy of your feminine side, the energy that you show to your loved ones, or your masculine side, the energy that you show to the outer world. And these all have different day sign energies attached. Then I'm going to be talking also about your past sign, the sign that you emulated as a child, because you weren't your day sign for your whole life. And depending on your age at watching this video, if you're in, in around about your late 30s, 40s, you're going to be looking, your, your life's going to be, um, you're going to be feeling an extra element called your destiny sign, which is what you're evolving towards. So I'm going to give you a bit about the history. I'll talk to you briefly about the minor elements of a reading, um, talking mostly about the day sign, um, a little bit about the Trakana sign, because that's an important element of a reading, and a little bit about the other elements that go with it, like the galactic tone. And all of these elements come together to give you a really good idea of who you are and what you're evolving towards as a person. So the Mayan people were an ancient people going, you know, way back to before Christ, um, from ancient Mesoamerica in, and live in today's Mexico and Central America. Um, and there's lots of um, Mayan people still around, but their culture pretty much got destroyed. Um, we, we have the, the Maya themselves, um, they're very much known for their knowledge of astronomy and mathematics. That's very much what they're famous for. Very skilled with, you know, very little technology to help them. They were just amazing at mathematics and reading the sky and understanding how it all fits together. Um, but as I said, their, their culture was um, destroyed for various reasons. And there are some Mayan people left still alive. Um, the ethno-astrologers and archaeologists and um, anthropologists actually interview to gain information about the culture but the main elements of evidence a lot of it was ruined by religious uh, religious fanatics and the European invaders and you know there was many reasons why a lot of the Mayan culture got destroyed but there is some remaining that is studied by many many people um, the difference I would say with Western astrology and Mayan astrology is Western astrology very much focuses on the position um, planetary alignments. Mayan astrology, however, focuses on um, blocks of time going in cycles. And I've always very much felt that everything that we go through in our life is very cyclical, you know, even starting from day and night. Um, the spin of the earth, the, the seasons. I could go on, but that's another video. Um, so the Mayan system is a series of groupings of days. And there are 20 day signs. Um, and these are the important day signs or the day signs, the main part of reading. Um, but the most important calendar is known as the Zolkin calendar, which is 260 days. That's 13 days per Mayan day sign. OK, and I'll speak to you a little bit more about that in a second. Um, but yeah, the Mayan astrology is very much about organizing those intricate correlations of time and uh, and how it runs in a cyclical way. Moving on. So as I've said, I'm starting with the main focus of this video is the the, the Earth Caban number 17 day sign. So, as I said, the year is divided into a series of 20 days because there are 20 day signs. Um, so each of the 20 days then has their own Mayan day sign. And of course, it cycles round. 
so each day has a Mayan day sign you get to 20 and it cycles back to one so it always cycles round but there's 20 day signs and each sign has its own um, information about the destiny and personality of a person born on that day it reveals very much your main life mission your strong and weak elements your personality and it reminds you of your spiritual essence and your evolution where you've come from and where you are evolving to and as I mentioned earlier the Trakana sign the the second this the second element the 25 percent powerful element of a reading a mayan astrology reading is the chakana sign for example i my mayan day sign is road that's 75 percent of me so i'm road with my past future um destiny masculine feminine all attached and that's all a part of me but 25 percent of me or the back ground of me that is there but not so prominent is my trakana sign so it's the 13 days that i was born in and that day sign that that commanded it for example i'm a mayan day sign road but i was born in the serpent trakana so i have all the elements of the road in my day sign but in my background i have lots of elements of the the the, the, the serpent trakana 75 percent 25 percent think of it like a picture with your um, day sign right in the foreground and your trakana sign in the background just adding a bit of extra flavor like herbs you can um, as you, you can say um, then there's your galactic tone number now that's also one of the main parts of a reading not as important as your day sign but it still is an important element of a mayan calendar reading it really it reveals the relationship between you and the divine and your divine plan it's more like a, an extra mission that's tagged on to the end of your main day sign. It sort of gives you extra ideas of what you're really here to be achieving in this lifetime. It's the energy you also radiate to people. So people will see that energy in you, the, the energy of the galactic tone. And I'm going to be doing some videos on that, including... But first of all, let's talk about the elements of the day sign that I am going to really focus on. So you've got your past sign. So your past sign is that's from birth up to around the age of 12, 13 years. Then you you will feel more of your main day sign when you come away from childhood when you hit in late 13, 14 years old, you're start going to really feel your main day sign. Then around 40, you start feeling elements of your destiny sign. That's where you're evolving towards. OK, so that's the element of the day sign that is your past and your future or your destiny. There's also another element of your day sign, your masculine and feminine. Now, your, your feminine is what you show to those you love and your close friends, the people that you really show your real self to. So people that don't know you very well won't necessarily see this side of you, you know, not if you're not close to them, but your masculine, they will see your masculine side. That's your extroverted sign that say your boss would hit, would see or your colleagues would see or people in your everyday life would see. It's the energy that you, that you exude to the world. OK, so um, as I said, I would talk a little bit about the other elements of a Mayan reading. These are not so prominent as your day sign and your trakana, but they still, like I said, add added herbs and flavorings to who you are and what you're here to be. So you've got the Lord of the Night, which is a repeating sequence of nine days, which really shows your deep unconscious hidden motivations. I liken this to the soul urge in numerology. It really shows that what you really, really want to do and be deep in your heart. Then you have the solar years, which again are a very background. Um, all the, the, the solar years are grouped in uh, 54 year cycles. Each year in the cycle has its own special quality reflected in your personality and your character. But remember, it's very background and your phase of Venus. So it, it's all the, the year is split into four main periods. Um, the phase in which a person is born offers then insights into the social values or their role in society. But again, all very background stuff or like an added uh, small herb to the meal. So the earth number 17 the earth caban day sign is um associated with the east i call it the red group so the east the, the the east group or the red group are very much about starting about beginnings about emerging from the ground about growing becoming a bud 
individualism, growing yourself, developing yourself and creating something new. That is very much the element, the, 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 the essence of the Kaban Earth day sign. The Mayan name, Noj or Kaban, uh, the meaning is earth or earthquake or the, the movement of earth. Now, I'm not talking about the destruction that it causes. It's the change and transformation that it causes. The element, of course, that it relate to naturally is earth. And as I said, it's related to the east and other day signs within the east group alongside earth is your crocodile your serpent your water sign and reed i think i've done videos on all of those mayan day signs so look them up if you find out you're one of the other mayan day signs in the red group or the east facing group so for the kaban day sign you started showing this from an age around 13 and it will continue out through your life with a masculine and feminine side but what i'm talking about now is your main core abilities of your day sign okay so you're a very logical your your core day sign is very very clever very mentally active very rational very logical sometimes too rational or logical but we'll cover that in a while you think very rationally you feel all problems have got a logical solution to them very practical and as I've said very clever with a very very sharp mind you're you're the classic engineer or strategist uh, full of new ideas full of new solutions always got an idea to shake things up a bit you're a leader and a keeper of the status quo you like um, you're very much into your ideals you're very much a thinker into abstract thought and ideals and insights especially the insights that can be put to practical use you're very much a pragmatist where that's concerned you love a theory but you're not interested until you know how that theory is practically put in the world you gravitate gravitate more towards working alone you're very very smart very efficient very resourceful very much you you either like to work alone or you want to lead okay sometimes you can rub each rub people up the wrong way um, but you're very much an independent, strong person. I work alone or I lead. You don't really follow. Um, you're intelligent, well-educated, full of ideas, as I've said. Uh, community service orientated as well. A very good person. You know, you do, you've got a lot of integrity. Um, you're an inspiring presence as well. And people will look to you for guidance. Um, because you come, your intelligence and dignity shines through. Um, you're attracted to careers in medicine, law and ultra entrepreneurship or any kind of career where you can bring something new, where you can shake things up a bit. Um, you're, you're, you'd be a really good specialist, which is great for creativity. You need to specialize in a subject before you can be creative with it. So you're, you're great at specializing and being creative, but you're not really someone that really focuses on their career. You're more of a person that um, wants a career where you can be free, like an artist or an actor or a designer or an artisan that makes their own products. You're not the kind of person that likes to be stuck to a routine or told or told what to do or having to go to work every day. You're very much an entrepreneur and a specialist and extremely, very, totally creative personality, fiercely independent. You know, you're not one for asking other people for help. And, you, you know, you can push other people away a little bit, but you're very liberal. You're very progressive, always looking at new ideas. You've got strong ideas, strong convictions. You're very, very stubborn. Um, you will not be told what to do. As I said, you either lead or you work alone. You don't work alongside others and you certainly do not follow others. Um, you're very self-controlled, stoic, emotional behavior and you like to stay on the straight and narrow you've got lots of integrity you're very trustworthy you know you're not likely to be um, a scoundrel um, you see positions of leadership you, you, you can't follow or let anyone else lead as I've said um, to the point where other sometimes other like leaders especially like the real leaders of a situation can find your authority quite threatening because you are such a natural leader and you can come across like you're challenging the authorities quite a lot. Um, so, yeah, they can find you a little bit threatening as well as other people, too. Um, but you have a great sense of humor because 
you, you know sometimes you can feel a little bit awkward socially but laughter you feel helps you to feel comfortable when you're around other people um but you're a bit of a dreamer full of energy um and you're a happy person you're not a miserable person you know you're very straight laced you're very logical but you enjoy life you know um, many earth caban people are very 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 happy people um you don't like to load yourself with unnecessary problems don't worry be happy you value you value your dignity um you don't like being overshadowed um and you won't be overshadowed with anything nefarious or nefarious actions or thoughts you, you don't get involved in that like i said you're very full of integrity very trustworthy and you love life you know um money isn't a big thing for you you, you know you'd be quite happy with a modest way of life um, you're not really interested in being public. You don't want to be in front of a camera. You're not interested in getting accolades or the limelight. Um, but in relationships can be a problem um, because you you don't consider it necessary to put anyone else's interests before your own. Uh, oftentimes, even people that you're close to, that you love, you don't that you love that you don't seem why you should put their interests first um that could be quite difficult for some people especially those you love to deal with if you're not really thinking you should put their them first really there should be quite a balance between the two you shouldn't always put other people first but sometimes you do have to consider other people in your life um you doubt your heart you doubt you hide your heart you 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 hide your doubts you hide your fears you hide your emotions you know you're not you don't really like emotions you don't like emotional expression um so you hide your emotions even though there are emotions there you hide them um you're sensitive to criticism um and you know because you hide your heart and you know you people can hurt you and you hold on to it you know, so you have multiple grievances with other people that you hold on to because they've hurt you and you haven't expressed that to them. You just hold it inside, which can be a bit difficult. You need to not hold on to grievances and not hold on to things that are going to hold you back or make you miserable or ill. Not a good thing. You can be quite frivolous with your money. You're quite live and let live. Quite, You like to be relaxed. You like to do your own time. You like to do your own thing. Um, you love meeting new people, which can sometimes tempt you into being a little bit unfaithful. But that doesn't mean you're all unfaithful. I'm not calling you unfaithful if you're an earth caban sign. But you have that in you. I guess we all have to a certain extent. But the frivolous nature can be a little bit more. But remember, you've got lots of integrity as well. So... You know, not all Caban Earth personalities um, are unfaithful. You know, some their integrity takes over and sometimes their frivolousness takes over. Um, your relationships, especially at first in your young life, are usually short time, short term. You know, but over time, as a lot of people do, you start to develop the you know, the appreciation of family and having those you love around you. So as you develop more, you will develop more into a love of family and may be more likely to commit at an older age. Um, but, you know, in relationships, it's often responsible, serious people that are attracted to you. Um, but living with you is like a big, bright adventure because you're so joyful in what you do. Negative um you can you know this frivolousness and sometimes you don't always think before you act so you can have a few inaccurate judgments and poor choices at times and need a bit of guidance um sometimes you can be so logical over the top logical that you come across as a bit condescending to other people um you can come across as arrogant you can be a bit too independent remember independence is very much a um it's not really real you know we all need each other to survive so, you know, being too independent, careful you're not pushing other people away. We do need each other. Uh, you can come across as quite elitish, snobbish at times even, um, which can be a bit niggly in your relationships as well. And you also have a problem cooperating with others because your, your mind is often away in thought and you're not one to follow, really. It's either, remember, you work alone or you lead you're not really one for following others or listening, unless it interests you, of course. Um, 
again, like I said, you hide your emotions and you don't like your partner to have emotions either. Um, if you have, uh, if you're in a relationship and your partner is too emotional, this is going to be a problem for you and you're just not going to last long in the relationship because you just can't handle being around somebody that's very, very emotional because you hide your own emotions. Um, you must, must balance your energy so that you don't become depressed or have issues with your health or well-being. Um, use your intellect for your prosperity. You know, you're very smart, remember, very logical, but you need to learn how to focus that intelligence and energy and so that it develops into something good. You know, a lot of uh, Earth Kaban day signs, they've got so much intelligence and so much ability that they just cannot pinpoint and build anything from because they haven't committed and focused enough to the cause. That's what the, the the Earth Day sign needs to work towards doing more so that they can achieve so, so much more success in the world. Um, you need to let your have have your emotions have equal looking to your logic. Remember, I said sometimes you can be too logical and you pack them emotions deep down. That doesn't do you any good. Try and have a little bit more of your emotions involved with your decisions. It will balance you out a little bit. And you will notice the, the positive difference in your life from doing that. Right, so the elements of the day sign. So what I've been talking about so far is the main core day sign in the middle there, if you can see my cursor, the abilities, personality and negative side of your core day sign that you have from about age 13 all the way through your life. Right. So, as I've said, your day sign consists of your feminine, your, the, the side you show to your loved ones, your masculine, which is your external side, is what your boss sees, your childhood sign or your past sign, and your future destiny sign, what you're evolving, evolving towards. So, this is the sign that you show to the world. So, this is what how your boss sees you. This is how friends that are not so close to you see you um colleagues at work see you people that just say hello to you day to day they know you but they don't know you well this is the mask you put to them so very much it, it's funny how you're such a a, a a logical person inside and by nature you're not a, you don't really like attention on you but the side that you show to the outside world it's, you know, people notice you and you do tend to attract attention, even though you're not keen on too much attention, you seem to attract it and you're very good at communication. People see you as good at communication. They see you as very funny. Like I said, you've got a great sense of humor. Laughter helps you to feel comfortable. Um, and people see you as that. You're quite the performer, quite the, 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 the joker of the group. Um, our, artistic actors musicians remember you want a flexible job you don't want a job that ties you down you're not a careerist you're not the type that wants to get up every morning and work all the hours god sends till the evening come home go to sleep and then do the same thing the next day you're a, you want to be an artist an artisan run your own business maybe an actor a musician you know all the kinds of jobs where the time is flexible um, leadership comes naturally uh, of course it does remember you either lead or you work alone and people see you as a great leader um, interested in everything around you always looking around you know the excitable side of your nature that is always joyful you, the, remember I said the earth caban sign is a very happy quite a joyous day sign and they're always looking around them um, and experiencing everything around them and bringing joy from it. That's the amazing side of the, the earth sign. You're, you're just interested in, in everything and you're very smart. You read a lot. You, you get involved with a lot of things. You're, you're curious. You're a very smart, quick learner. Um, and this is, remember, this is how people see you. So they see you as very smart. They see you as very socially savvy, uh, communicative, quite demonstrative when you're with others. Um, struggle a little bit getting close with people. So, you know, people you don't know very well, you, you keep people at arm's length. Um, you like to play the field, which is the core part of your day sign. You do have the the possibility, even though your, your core day sign is full of integrity, you do have that side of your nature that could be a little bit frivolous and a little bit um, 
you know, carefree when it comes to relationships and then regretting it afterwards kind of thing. So you do struggle a little bit with your close, intimate relationships, but your main day sign does too, and you show that to the world. Um, you need relationship variety. Um, you like to play the field. You know, you don't really, as your day sign already stated, you don't really see the the value of close relationships and family until you sort of mature down your path a little bit more. It's only later in life that we tend to see the importance of family and security and having people, those you love around you. Um, so the side of you that you show to the world, you, you know, you, you, people see you as you, you, they see you as maybe a bit of a cheat that plays the field. You might not even do that, but people might assume that of you. You like variety, you like to have fun um, and you're not very committal. You know, that's how people see you. So, you know, your boss might struggle sometime to know whether you're actually going to return up on time to a meeting or whether you are going to, hand, you know, get that piece of work done in time. So, you know, you can sometimes struggle a bit with your commitment and you don't open up much to others. You, you close yourself back and always put up a little bit of a barrier. So there's always an element of mystery about you. People that love you, though. They still see you. The people that love you, where you, the, the people that you love, they, they, they also see you as an amazing communicator across the board. Um, you express your feelings to those you love well and those that you are close to. Artistic, that runs all the way through your day sign. Um, you're very artistic, you're very creative, and you're very much the type to be more of an artisan rather than a nine-to-five worker. You're, but you're very, very smart as well. You're a thinker. You you reflect on the big questions, the meaning of life. You're intuitive. You you even have psychic abilities if you were to develop them. Um, you you have a very much a spiritual side. So when you're at home with your family, um, that's. Do you know what I always forget? I always forget to comment the name of the energy that you're. Um, experiencing for example the masculine sign that I've just said the sign you show to everyone that is monkey okay that is the Maya monkey and that's just how people see you outwardly Let's try and not forget that every time and then the the side you show to those you love is Akbal Knight okay so that's the, the the energy that you show to those you love I mustn't keep forgetting to say what the what the the energy is that that rules this each element anyway so those that love you see you as very spiritual so you're probably the kind of person who is either a spiritual person or you may even be uh subscribed to a religion um you want the security of a home so you see the difficulties there it takes an earth caban sign a long time to connect with someone so that they see this feminine intimate side of you but it's only when they do and you do soften and show people that side of you maybe later in life more that you will do this you will feel more of a, a pull towards home and family certainly more than you ever did earlier in your lifetime you as i've said you can be a bit frivolous you know short-term relationships here there and everywhere because um, you hold people at a distance, but when you do let people in and you do let them see the intimate, introverted side of you, the, the, the night Akbal side of you, you will be more attracted to committing to a home and family and having the security that you need um, and the emotional security of a family as well. Um, you have many interests. Remember, you're very smart, very analytical, very logical, but you know, you also like a bit of the occultism, you know, it's, it's in your nature sometimes to be overly too logical, but, you know, there is a side to you that maybe only people that are close to you see that does dabble a bit in the unknown. It's interesting how we are, we might put one element out about ourselves, but actually behind it all, we show elements of the opposite. You're a very logical, very rational person. But when you're at home with those you love, your feminine side shows you to be a little bit more of a, you know, maybe the dreamer side comes out of you more. You know, you're less rational, 
less what people would perceive as logical and more about the occult and astrology and looking into the depths of life that little bit more. You're still that natural leader. So you're a natural leader at home as well. You know, very much a leader. Um, love to travel. You love to travel with family, go to see museums and learn about the history of places that you go. Um, you, you know, you, you look young for a long time. You've got a natural poise. You could be a teacher. You could be a healer. You could be a psychologist. But also I said you could be a business strategist as well. You're very smart quite multifaceted there's not much that you would really fail at doing if you put your mind to it because you'll be you're great with children as well there's a lot of different facets to you so past signs so this is how you were as a child now your main day sign is very much about holding back those emotions and hiding them but as a child you weren't so controlled with your emotions you were much more an, an emotional young person you let your emotions go more when you were young people saw that emotional side of you more and that's the muluk the water sign muluk i love that i just love that word and that's the water sign very emotional very imaginative um struggle with very very powerful emotions you'd have been a very emotional child um you sometimes can dominate others maybe you dominated your parents a little bit with your strong feelings or your siblings um a very uh, your goals are very emotion driven um and that performance element of yourself is creeping in again that performer that singer that actor that creator that flexible worker that artisan is still very much there all the way from childhood and it goes all the way through your life um romantic maybe you had a lot of boyfriends and girlfriends when you were young liked connecting up whether it was a boy or a girl depending on who you like or maybe both it's great why not um can be a little bit uncouth at times get yourself in trouble be a bit compulsive uh maybe you started smoking young hopefully you're still not a uh, bit of a rest risk taker a bit of an extremist at times um, but a very strong independent mind you you didn't let people tell you what to do even when you were young you know you knew what you thought and you knew your own mind even from a young and um and you weren't really good with responsibility um your 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 young sign really needed very strong parental role models in order for you to develop well let's hope you did so this if you're a earth sign uh, earth caban excuse me i have to have a drink throat getting dry your future your destiny is very much the serpent okay so this is the added um the new mission given to you at around the age of 40 um and you must understand it accept it and use it to assist with your spiritual evolution so this is what you're working towards and if you're in your 40s you should already be working towards this so creative you know since when have you not been creative it's gone all the way through your life continue to be creative but set creative goals you're a natural performer an actor a musician an entertainer you draw people's attention you know you don't always like it but you do draw people's attention leadership comes naturally as it always has you work alone often or you you lead you don't follow and you, you're not great in teams excuse me what a goal was that that was disgraceful physically and mentally strong very smart you'll stand up for a cause you'll stand up for what you believe in um, you're interested in science you read a lot you like to know a lot so keep that going for your evolution if you're already doing that and a lot of these elements that i'm talking about are already interlaced throughout your day sign so these are the things to just keep going for your spiritual evolution so read a lot about the psychology and people and you know counseling skills or talk to spend time talking to friends and get a little bit more acquainted a bit deeper connected with people um you're very fascinated by sex death transformation new things very much your core day sign new things new ideas um you want family union especially as you you know this is your evolution sign so you should be evolving from 
um, small relationships and relationships that keep breaking off to more commitment, a committed relationship and a secure home. That is very much your in part of your intended evolution to have that strong family union and strong attentive relationships. Um, you have a lot of charisma, a lot of sex appeal. You're good at drawing people in, bringing you followers and suitors. Um, you affect others deeply. You're always ready to listen. You've got those those people skills. You're more interested in people and counselling and talking to people and connecting with them in, on, on a deeper level. Um, still strong-willed, still very assertive, still very powerful, still a leader. You always will be. You're never going to lose that element of you. Um, you love creative environments, as we all know. You hate schedule. You work by your mood and you won't be told when to work. So you work on mood. Why not? You don't like having a nine to five. You never have done. You never will. It's never going to be part of something that is going to help your evolution being in a nine to five job. You're creative. You're an artisan. Show it to the world. You've got to do that. You're passionate. You're more. You, you'll show your emotions again. You know, when you were a child, you poured out your emotions and then you held them back a lot in your in main elements of your life, you know, became very more logical more rational, more hiding away of those emotions. But as you develop and evolve, let those emotions out again. You need to find a balance between the logical and the emotional and the spiritual. And this will be a good thing for you to do, not only for your own psyche and your own balance, but to help you in your relationships as well. So don't be too logical and too hard. You know, tip towards the artistic and the spiritual. It will help balance you out very much. And it will help you build those strong relationships that you're evolving towards. And sometimes put others first. You know, I know you don't really see the point often of putting others' interests before yours. But it would be a good thing for you to do to start sometimes putting other people's needs first. Again, that will really improve your relationships. Now, I hope you really found my video useful today on the Mayan day sign number 17, Earth Kaban. If you like my video, please click that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Then tap that, by, uh, bow. Tap that bell icon so it'll keep you up to date with all my latest uploads. If you want to email me, you can email me at katie at soulexplorer.net. Or you can go to my website. Um, I've got a course also that I'm going to put in the description box. So if you'd learn to like to learn about numerology, um, I have a course on Udemy. I'm going to put the, uh, the course uh, descriptor in the description box. So you can click on that and have a look and see if that's a course you would like to do. Look at the previews, see what you think. If you want to contact me on any social media, I'm also going to put links to my Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter in the description box. As ever, guys, trust that soul within you. Only you and your own perception knows best. Trust your soul.